Dale Wall sits at the bar at Mantra in Benson. He's one of three people eating in. I don't cook, so I'm here most nights. Now there won't be room for any more customers. Governor Pete Ricketts says Nebraska will follow the CDC and limit crowd sizes in most public places. It's frightening. I don't know what I'll do. I don't cook. Mantra's owner Travis Freeman says that's one of his primary concerns, so he's staying open with a small staff to make room for more clients. But he knows his business and employees will take a hit. It's going to be huge. It's going to hit everybody extremely hard. I mean, there's a lot of people I've talked to in the restaurant um, uh, arena that, you know, have just told their employees they're going to have to file for unemployment tomorrow. They're focusing on takeout and delivery while bringing in employees, not to serve, but to clean while the restaurant's closed. Rocco's in North Downtown is doing the same to try to make ends meet. For an area that's event driven to now have no events, it's 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 bleak. The canceled College World Series and concerts mean some bars may not be able to stay open. Some will make it and some won't. And some service industry people will make it and some won't. I mean, that's that's just that's the brutal truth of it. The Trap Room's brand new owners say they've decided to shut down altogether to stop the spread. I think safety before all else is probably the most important and you know, it's gonna, it's a huge hit for everyone around here. Now, every single one of these restaurants that you've just heard from in this story is encouraging you to pick up a gift card if you can and definitely come back once this ban is lifted. They say not only do they depend on it, but so do their employees. Reporting live, Sarah Peely, KETV, News Watch 7.